Today we are at Twente Airport starting our flight test program for a project that we are conducting for EASA. This project has the objective to analyze slippery wet runways and whether we can use laser scanners to determine the friction characteristics of such runways. Today we are starting our flight test campaign with our NLR test plane. We have done several tests at different speeds on an artificially wetted runway. Together with our partners from Germany, DLR, we're going to start testing here and continue our testing at Braunschweig, Kochstedt and at NASA Wallops. We are doing these tests with two different airplanes. One is the NLR's Citation 550 and the other one is DLR's Falcon 2000. Both aircraft have similar but also different characteristics in terms of the speeds and the tire characteristics and those things that are important for this project to have as part of the validation that we do of our assessment. We have just uh, completed the first series of test runs where we accelerated to different target speeds and then performed high braking maneuvers in a wetted section on the runway. The test itself is actually a cooperation between the ground crew who has to wet the runway and the flight crew who has to have the instruments ready for the measurements. So it's not only in the cockpit but also in the cabin where we have our flight test engineers running the measurement equipment. As soon as the water trucks leave the runway we can uh, commence our run inbound. So it's a good cooperation and coordination is essential to make these kind of tests successful. I think we performed six good test runs, so the first data points in the project are now uh, established. The aim of this project is to have a methodology available for airports to identify when a runway is slippery when wet and to help to reduce the number of runway overruns. Several accidents have occurred with this type of condition being present and unknown to the pilots. 